Good morning, Room 10. So for this edition of Cooking with Mr. Tuck, we're going to take it on the road. We're going to go to my parents' house and we're going to bake a cake for my brother Jeff. And now there is a peanut allergy for this one. So if you have anybody that's allergic to peanuts or nuts, I would not make this. Okay, so in order to make the base, you're gonna put in one and two thirds cups Graham wafer crumbs, two thirds of a cup of unsalted chopped peanuts, and then you'll also have to add in three tablespoons of peanut butter and a third of a cup of butter. Graham wafer crumbs, you're gonna add your chopped peanuts, and then you're gonna come over to the microwave and you're gonna melt your peanut butter with the butter. Okay, so you're going to want to put it in for about 10, 10 seconds. Take it out, give it a bit of a stir. for another 10 seconds. Okay, now it's all liquidy. Okay, let's come back over to the... Okay, then you'll add it into the bowl. Okay, so once your mixture looks like this, you're gonna take a half a cup and you're gonna take it out and you're just gonna save it for later for the topping. Okay, and then you're gonna throw it into this pan here. Try to even it out. And then you'll just take your hands and you'll smooth it around and pat it down. Make sure there are no exposed parts. Make sure you're patting, make sure your hands are clean too. So it should look like this. Okay, so in a large bowl, you're going to put in 250 grams of cream cheese. And you're going to mix that with the sugar. Okay, so now we're going to add our peanut butter to this. Okay, and then we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. No one heard that coming. Okay, and then you're gonna mix that in as well. Okay, so now you have four eggs and you're gonna crack them in the bowl one at a time. Okay, and then you're gonna mix it together with the egg. And you're gonna do this one at a time.
case. This is what is called folding in the cream cheese. Okay, this is what's called folding in the Cool Whip. Our pan back with the, the base and we're gonna put in our filling. Want to make sure to get it all out. So a rubber spatula would work well with this. Okay, so once it's all smoothed out, you will put on your extra nuts that we had. So you're just gonna, gonna kind of take your chocolate sauce and you're just gonna drizzle it on the top here. Okay, and then you're gonna take this little thing and you're gonna try to smooth it out. This should be covering most of the, the cake or the drumstick cake and then after this you're going to add your crumbs on top so just sprinkle them on nicely so this was the cup we took out of the other mixture Okay, and when you're done, it should look something like this. And then we're gonna put it into the freezer for six hours. Okay, so again, once you have it in here, put the, there's a lid. Thank you, mother. And we'll put it on the lid, and then we'll stick it into the freezer. Okay, if you are going to cut it, I would take it out 10 minutes earlier, and then afterwards, make sure you put it back in the freezer.